What's up everybody? Um, I just want you, I want to show you a quick little video here. I have this uh, Tronixy DX5 SA and um, <clears throat> the, um, the extruder that came stock with it failed. I didn't even get a print off and it was, I think it was bad. So I replaced it with this. I had a big tree tech extruder laying in my spare parts box. So I threw that on there. I ran a benchy and uh, it was stringing really bad. So I, I cut the retraction settings down in Cura and it was still bad. So I'm like, well, you know what? Let me, um, <clears throat> let me calibrate the east steps on this thing because I really didn't do that. And um, I think that might be the issue. I'm not too sure, but I figured I'd make this little video here and uh, see if we can do it. One bad thing about on this Tronixy is I know it's a chit tube board or whatever they call it, and I think it's running Marlin firmware, but there's there's not a whole lot of options on this thing. So, and I'm kind of used to Proner Face to um, go into the printer itself and look at the settings, but I, I think that's what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to, I can't even extrude filament. You know, you can't even set it to a value, say say like 100, 100 millimeters. You can't do that. You could just hit the button and I think it, the, the extruder just turns and then you hit the stop button and then it stops. So let's see if we can do this through Proner Face and um, see if I can get it to extrude 100 millimeters right on the money. So basically what you want to do is I'm going to take, I cut off a piece of filament. I even took the, the little fitting out of the top, the Bowden tube. I disconnected all that. Um, you can leave it in. I've seen, I've seen people leave it in and let it extrude filament out, you know, cause they heated up the nozzle and stuff. But I mean, it's, it should still do the same thing with it being just like that. And I have a, a filament runout sensor below it, but I'm just going to pop in a, a small piece here. I'm going to measure out. I got a set of calipers here. You guys can see that. There we go. I set it to 100 millimeters right there and locked it in. So all I'm going to do is um, mark on a piece of filament. Two little hash marks with a, with a Sharpie here and see if we can um, come up with something here. Okay, so all I did was take a piece of filament. Let's see if I can get, and there's a mark there and there, two Sharpie marks. That's a hundred millimeters roughly. So I'm gonna see if I can get it to the back of this here. Put it through there. And basically I'm gonna try to get that one Sharpie mark right to the back of the, the lever there, see it? And here's the other mark, so let's see if it extrudes. I'll tell you what, let me, let me set this down just a tad here. I'm gonna bring you guys down a little bit without really messing it up too much. Okay. So there's the other mark right there. That's the 100 millimeter mark, so let's see what we can do. Okay, so <clears throat> when you guys saw over at, saw over at Primer Face there, the E-steps that they had in there was 185 so I think what I came up with was 185 times that by 100 divided by the 6634 I got the 66.34 whatever I had left over I had what was it 30 
33.66, so I'll take that away from the 100 millimeters, come up with 66.34. So if you multiply that, that one should give me 18,500, divide that by 66.34. So according to that, I should put in the 278.86 in Proner Face, and that then should extrude that 100 millimeters of filament. I don't know. It, to me, it sounds confusing, but according to how everybody else does it, I think I think I got to be pretty close. So, what I'm going to do is okay. So, what I'm going to do is type in M. What is it? M92. M92. E278.86. I mean, I guess I could round up, right? Let's do 278.90. Because I was at 86, I guess if we round up. I don't think it's gonna hurt. And if we hit enter, it's gonna send it. So just to confirm, let's go M503. So right there it shows 278.90 right here. And then I'll save it, M500. It sent it, and then it said settings stored. So <clears throat> we should be okay. So I'll go back and put that piece of filament I had back in there, and then we'll we'll see if it's if it's correct. Okay, I got it set back up. The sharpie mark is is still back here. Here's the other one. That's 100 millimeters right there. So in theory, after resetting it, that should reach right to where that mark is and we know we're really close so we go back over here 100 millimeters if I hit extrude and it's turning so we will let it run its course and see what happens Hopefully it gets really close this time. Well, it looks like that mark is going further up, so that's good. <clears throat> we just need it to stop right, right at that lever. And it did. You can see it right there. It stopped right there. It's real close. So that's a hundred millimeters right there. So we're probably pretty, we're pretty accurate now. So hopefully maybe that'll take care of some of the strain. I don't know, we'll see. But I don't know, that's how you, that's how, I, unless somebody else can, can tell me how I can navigate around on this, on this, um, on the screen here to find, to find that. Um, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, I just use Proner Face to do it. So hopefully anybody else with this Tronix e, the X5SA, if it can help them, you know, give me a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to let you know when I do another video. Other than that, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.